Castle of Europe was uh, established 70 years ago, and one its, of its primary aims from the beginning uh, was to target also education. And among education, uh, the history teaching was actually in one of the first conventions that were developed within the Council of Europe, uh, namely the Euro European Cultural Convention, which is an, in Article 2, uh, mentions history teaching. So since that time, Council of Europe has been devoted uh, to work on history teaching because one needs to recall that uh, Council of Europe and many other European organizations organizations were created after the Second World War, after the atrocity that's happened in, the, in, in that terrible war, and that history teaching was one of the ways to uh, prevent this uh, kind of horror happen again. And fortunately, in our work today, uh, we uh, see also uh, the raise in hate speech, the raise in racism, in, in intolerance, and history teaching seems to be very pertinent as it was uh, in former times. So in that respect, we believe that history teaching is uh, empowering young people uh, with possibility to uh, in invest and influence the future without hate, uh, future that will uh, not let repeat uh, the terror of the Second World War and, 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 the, and the wars that were uh, turning apart in Europe. So remembering and knowing about uh, the, the history uh, would help uh, young people to uh, influence their future and better future, a future in which there will be no room for intolerance, there will, there, there will be uh, inclusive society and uh, uh, history teaching will help certainly uh, all young people uh, to uh, live in a Europe without uh, hate uh, speech fueled by racism or intolerance. So if we want to have tolerance around societies, history teaching is certainly one way of achieving it.